think first thing I want to clarify is that today in this world of abundance, capital is free. There are private equity companies, the angel investors who are all willing to give you capital if you have a good idea and a good business. Even if you look at it, right, even Mr. Ambani today raised capital from Google and Facebook for Geo. So regardless of how rich you are, how much capital your father has or you have, you can always raise capital externally. So your idea should never be limited by capital because capital is unlimited in the world. For the right entrepreneur, you can start with whatever capital you require. So I started my company with $3 million, but if you take Kunal Shah, he started cred with $30 million of capital upfront before he started cred. So capital is not a limitation anymore. The way I would look at it is that today you have an opportunity to create businesses that are very, very large and global in nature. So there are different ways in which you can start businesses. One business to do is that you tag along with a successful company and then build products that sort of sit on top of that company. So let me give you an example. There are companies that have sold companies for $100 million plus and all they did was made plugins for Shopify. So Shopify became big, then they just made plugins and Shopify bought them for $100 million. Similarly, there is Zoho, there is Freshtest, there are so many companies out of India. Can we build small products that are solving additional problem that a certain vertical or a certain company faces using Zoho or Freshdesk? And then what happens is that you can sell to hundreds and thousands of people who are already using these products. So whether you are an implementation company for Adobe or Salesforce or ProfitWheel or any of the companies that are becoming successful, you can actually build a pretty substantial business just providing products and services on top of that product or the platform. Secondly, I think if you look at it, the way I would look at it is I would dovetail back to our exponential technologies, uh, sort of what we spoke about. So a lot of exponential technologies are coming up. These technologies will require a lot of service providers, a lot of product companies to support those technologies. Let me give you an example. Facebook last month became a company called Meta. Now Meta is a short form for Metaverse, which is a parallel verse, a parallel world where we can exist through virtual reality, through augmented reality. Now what happens is if you take every single business that exists today, whether it's somebody who's manufacturing a sword or a person who's manufacturing or has a pub or a bar. Imagine there is a festival called Coachella, which is one of the most famous music festivals in the world. Now there is going to be a team who's creating content and creating for a virtual Coachella. So imagine, right, today you are going to have a world that's going to exist in the next few years, which is a parallel world to today. So every single service and product that exists today is going to be required in the virtual world. If you can create products and services for that virtual world, again, there is going to be a huge opportunity out there, whether it's through an NFT kind of a platform, which you're going to cover later, but any virtual good that you can sell in that virtual world, you're going to make real money from it. I think there are certain industries that are exponential in nature are growing very rapidly. One of the influencer, one of the industry that is growing really, really rapidly is this whole influencer space. So I have personally made nine investments in the influencer space. I'm going to cover that more in detail, but just imagine if the influencer world is going to become 10x of advertising, which I believe it will be, imagine the opportunity it creates. It creates content creation opportunities, platform creation opportunities, influence the commerce opportunities, and all these things, if you look back, right, just one and a half years ago, today, they used to have call centers and they used to have call center businesses that actually help companies sell products. Imagine a video call center as an industry. Today, if you have a team of people, advertising companies like ProfitWheel can give you a lead and you have a video call center that helps you sell luxury. You could be selling luxury all over the world. You can build a real estate video call center industry where you sell real estate all over the world because you can give a 3D view of the real estate you can show that in virtual and augmented reality. You can have a team of people who generate leads for you and sell it all over the world. I think there is no end to the number of companies one can start today. So I go back, there is a guy called Gai Kawasaki. He talks about starting businesses and this concept called art of the start. So he said that you start a company because you want to end something great. So what happens is, sorry, end something good. So a lot of things are good. But in order to end good, you have to create something great. You start a company because you want to stop an evil. I feel that the traditional model of an agency 
client relationship where the client has to spend more money on advertising for an agency or a publisher to make more money, I think is evil. Your interest should be aligned to the client. The more profit the client makes, the more money you should make. If you can align yourself to that, we started Profit Wheel because we feel that we can add and increase profits of companies and we want to take a share of it. So our interests are aligned. So regardless of what business you want to start off, I would give some bird's eye view of the things you should look at. One is look at exponential industries because they're going to grow and your business will grow along with it. See which are the large companies that are becoming successful. So if you take Amazon, a lot of Amazon's resellers, Amazon is going from one country to the other country, becoming a dominant marketplace in those countries. Can you build products that help people sell? We have a product that helps on sales on Amazon. So if Amazon goes to 100 countries, we will also go to 100 countries. Build product companies. Because what happens in services companies is you're always limited by this linear function. In product companies, you become exponential. Today, you can build companies with no code or less code. So the fact of the matter is that today, what costed you $100,000 to make, today you can do it in a few thousand dollars. So 99% of software in the world is open source. Even large companies are using open source software. So today you can build a platform like Twitter or Facebook or even Celebrity School with very less code, with a SaaS app, very, very quickly. So there are infinite businesses. There are businesses in tech, there are businesses in housing, there are businesses in entertainment, there's businesses in commerce, there are businesses in content creation. You can start any of these businesses and it's much easier, but don't be limited by external resources. Resources are plenty. So whatever resources you need, you need team members, you need global outreach, you need capital, you need ideas, you need code, you need SaaS platforms, whatever you need today to build a successful company is there with you. And there are hundreds and thousands of entrepreneurs in India who are there to not only fund you, but also help you. You know, the best part about abundance economy is, they say in the Silicon Valley, the reason it succeeds is because everybody goes out of the way to help each other. Why they go out of the way to help each other? Because it's an abundant economy. If there was limited capital, then I would not introduce you to a VC or a private equity firm because if he gives it to you, then I wouldn't get the capital. If there was limited things in the world, then people try to hoard things. We are living in a world of abundance. Why do I help entrepreneurs? Because the thing is, there is so many ideas, so much capital, so much everything, that even if I help 100 million people, there will still be enough for all of us. So the best thing about digital age today is that we're living in an abundant economy. You don't have to ever limit yourself of thinking big. People have built billion dollar companies, multi-billion dollar companies, with zero capital of their own. And that's what the opportunity is. Earlier, if you go 50, 100 years ago, you couldn't build an automotive plant or a steel plant if you didn't have capital. But today, you can build a multi-billion dollar company with zero capital of your own. So don't be limited by anything. There are hundreds of millions of ideas out there. I have invested in 25 companies. Nine of them are only in the influencer space. So imagine the number of ideas that are out there to be funded and all of us can succeed together. And that's what I feel India is gonna be is going to be an economy like the Silicon Valley, where a lot of entrepreneurs will help each other, all of us creating large, scalable, global companies, which was never an opportunity earlier.